Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog. And today I'm heading down to the comic book store and I got some movie information from the Marvelous Realm or at Marvelous Realm and at uh, Atlanta Filming on Twitter. So I'll put links to their stuff down below and I'm going to try to attach their ats on all my videos from now on because those guys have been turning in some great stuff, got a lot of scoops, and they have some sources uh, that are on the set. They're staying low, you know, they're, they're getting some good footage, and it's been really cool to see them, you know, being so passionate about following the, this movie. Uh, so I want to definitely give those guys shout outs and say thank you for the information that you guys put out there so I'll put some screen grabs up in this video we'll talk a little bit about casting I'm gonna split this up over three videos uh, the first two are you know what they're saying uh, some of these actors are playing they're saying they confirmed Riz Ahmed's character they're saying they've uh, confirmed Scott Hayes's character uh, and then also the third video I'm gonna make is to talk about like who Woody Harrelson could be playing then if these two guys are cast as these roles it kind of made me question who maybe Woody Harrelson's playing so we're gonna get over that uh, or go over that in the next three videos so enjoy thanks so much for watching today on Twitter if you're following at Atlanta filming or a new site that I just saw which is marvelous realm um, again I don't know these uh, these two places. I know Atlanta filming now, uh, but I'm not on Twitter. But now I'm scouring Twitter constantly, uh, even though I don't have an account, to try to see what these two sites are updating because these guys are on top of it, especially Atlanta filming. He is on top of it, and he's uh, telling people, hey, if you want to know who some of these characters are, I don't know much about the comics, so Marvelous Realm has been like, you know, with their sources, has been helping me piece together who these actors are playing. So again, none of this is super confirmed yet, but it looks like, uh, it seems pretty reliable. These guys have been around as they're filming this movie. They've been covering a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna trust it for now, but I wanna hear your thoughts. Uh, do you guys, are you 100% on board with what we're seeing here? Because according to them, Riz Ahmed is actually playing Dr. Drake. Uh, they didn't say Dr. Carlton Drake, but they refer to him as Dr. Drake, like walking to set. And I have the picture here that you can see. And in the picture, he's walking with a, a, a young lady. I don't know if she's a, a PA or a talent wrangler, uh, wrangler, just trying to get him to set, or if this is actually like the camera's rolling and these are two characters in the movie. But you see him walking into the Life Foundation. They So basically, they took over a building and then a hospital, I think, and they're kind of making those the set pieces for the Life Foundation, which is really cool. And I have Life Foundation pictures, and we're gonna show those probably in, a, I'll do like a separate episode for that, uh, because there's some interesting things, little maybe little Easter eggs in some of the photos that I think are worth talking about. So for now, Riz Ahmed possibly playing Dr. Drake. I think that's pretty interesting. Dr. Drake, or at least Carlton Drake in the comics, he actually is in charge of the Life Foundation, and we talked about him in Lethal Protector. He's not Roland Reese, who we're going to talk about in the next video, actually. Uh, Roland Reese is the guy who had, like, the, the, the plan to get the gold or whatever that, you know, that Venom kept getting in his way. So he hired the Life Foundation to kind of put a stop to him or, or hold him off, you know. And so Carlton Drake is actually a guy who has, like, you know, he's the one who studied the symbiote. He knows the symbiote intimately even though he just kind of popped up i think it was amazing spider-man 298 the life foundation kind of first came into comics and it was like a board of directors shot of like all these people like making these decisions so they're kind of like the umbrella corporation if you're a resident evil fan and uh, they, they st they're studying uh their in this case uh they're studying their enemy big time like they know venom very well better than he knows himself better than you know eddie brock knows the symbiote and they know that within the venom symbiote there's actually more offspring. So each symbiote essentially can reproduce asexually, and but it, it does so by ha like sprouting these seeds that can become a symbiote, like another symbiote. And so after Carnage was created, the Life Foundation has been studying and following Eddie Brock and learning everything it can about him, checking out like the dead skin cells, like when he shoots his webbing, that's like dead skin cells basically. They're studying everything about this and what they deduce is that there's five more cells, like five more seeds inside Venom to turn them into other symbiotes. And so their plan is to take those seeds out of Venom and create their own symbiotes, attach them to people that they've trained, that they've programmed to do their bidding, and uh, and control these symbiotes completely, and use them for for you know anything they want to do, like sell them to the military, use them for military purposes, you know, all that kind of stuff, and basically make their version of super soldiers, but with symbiotes using alien life, and uh, and and then they also have other plans like Life Foundation. We'll talk about more of them, like I said, in the other video. 
but Carlton Drake, I didn't see this coming, honestly. I was like, wow, who is Riz Ahmed playing? And I was thinking they were going to go the Sin Eater route. But now I'm starting to think that maybe what they're going to do is maybe remove the Sin Eater Part 2, which that that would kind of bum me out because I think that, you know, if you're not going to do Spider-Man, Sin Eater is still keeping that intact. I think that works. Uh, but what you could do now, I guess, if you're trying to simplify the story, is like I said, with Venom, he only needs someone to hate. He needs someone to ruin his life and to hate them. And then that is his motivation to be Venom, right? And then he maybe is bloodthirsty at first. And then through me meeting Anne Weying, kind of, you know, is like, all right, I don't want to just kill. Um, I, I'll be more of an anti-hero. And, uh, and that's, you know, that's the crux or the basics of, uh, of Eddie Brock's character. So you can still kind of do that if they take away Sin Eater and they just make Carlton Drake and Life Foundation, you can have it to where Eddie's maybe trying to expose the Life Foundation. Maybe he's a, you know, a journalist. He takes his job very seriously. He's going after something big. And he's got a great story. He's going to expose them. And then he they basically using their resources, buying the media, stuff like that, and uh, you know, and, or twisting the words or twisting the media um, and, and getting basically Eddie Brock fired and ousted as a fraud. And that anything he says like, oh, no, they're they're studying alien life. And, they're, and everyone's like, um, okay, Eddie, now you're definitely crazy. We thought you were this great journalist and now you've just crumbled and your life has fallen apart and you could basically make the life foundation the cause of all of eddie's pain and then you know he goes in to get proof and that's maybe how he comes across uh joining the symbiote just spitting just spitballing here i don't know if any of that's true or not uh, i just like speculating now because i'm really curious no spider-man and possibly no sin eater but for all we know i mean woody harrelson could be playing sin eater or he could be playing cletus cassidy we don't know we'll talk about that in a couple episodes from now uh, but for this one i just want to know what you guys think uh we have the picture here we have uh the words from atlanta filming and i think marvelous realm was like tweeting stuff too uh so apparently riz ahmed dr drake what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I'll see you all in the future. Peace.